And hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry this one's a bit late. I should have recorded it last night, but I got distracted, so it's going to be like, I don't know, probably half an hour late or whatever, which usually I only get like one view in that time frame anyway, so not a big deal, I hope. So, I was originally planning for today's episode to work on kind of the surrounding stairs. However, I did decide that maybe before we do that, we might want to come in here and add some decoration to the room, which I have some ideas for. I'm not coming in completely blind for this, so I'm thinking we'll do something like this, right? We'll throw a torch there just for extra lighting. Just, I don't know, kind of about that size and come across with leaves on the edge. It's mostly just me fiddling with ideas and stuff, and then oh, I don't have an axe on me. Instead of this, we want the spruce wood. Comes off a little strange since it's facing up like that instead of to the side, but should work nonetheless. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. We're gonna want some fence, which I think I might have some left over in here. And do we have any wool? No, we don't have any wool. So I always like doing nightstands next to the beds. So let's see if we can go find some sheep. I bet you there's going to be one or two on the plains, which we can just shear. And we only need two wool. Because that's all we need for the, um, whatchamacallit, the carpets for the top of the nightstands. Carpets are nice because, like, they're thin enough that they work for the tables and stuff. Compared to some stuff which just, like, for example, a slab would never work just because it's way too large. Why is there a bat there? Uh, I'm not finding any sheep. I thought I was just going to run out of here, snag a sheep real quick, and we are going to run right back. Um, is there perhaps a sheep over here? Yeah, I'm really not seeing any sheep. Okay, let's go sleep. Carpet's not our number one priority. I was just hoping that I'd be able to easily run out of here and just snag some wool real quick. But yeah, not our number one priority. And I'm just going to start lighting up some nonsense around here. Eventually, I'll have the entire world lit up. I feel like I say this in every single series I do. Like, it just becomes my mission to light up the entire surrounding area around our house. Well, that's a creeper. Okay, let's run in and sleep. The thing about this design is because our actual room's so far away from everything else, you know, we can just run in and sleep without much concern about, oh, there's too many monsters nearby. You cannot sleep now. Which is not exactly what it says, but it's what it feels like. Boom, and bye-bye, creeper. Ah, uh, it's sad that it takes so many hits. You know, knockback's actually probably a decent upgrade with 1.14 combat. I never thought about it, and I've never bothered with knockback, because the 1.8 me is just like, why would you ever mess with knockback? So, like, here we are. I've been dealing with 1.14 combat for, like, three years, and I still haven't really messed with knockback. Also, don't you guys love the fact that I changed my skin? It's so much better than that spruce wood. Like, seriously, that spruce wood was ugly stuff. But yeah, at least now we have a nice looking skin. Okay. Hey, Mr. Villager. We got horses around. I don't think I have any saddles. I don't know. Oh, I could 
Wait, no, they beds, not flat out wool. Why? Do they have a blast furnace? I'm not gonna steal anything yet. Cause I've already stole some stuff from. Oh. We could do black wool. Um. There's a gate right there. Yeah. Let's also, since there's a white sheep right here, also shear it. And we can mess with both types of carpet. See which one looks better. But yeah, let's go ahead and run back now. I still want to build a bridge over this at some point. Mostly just to as add a cosmetic effect. Like maybe from like here to over there. Or a better idea might be from like here over. Could even do a sideways bridge. Well, no, we'd probably do a straight bridge from here to there. That way we don't have to run down and up every time. I don't know, just a thought. Okay. So now, first thing I want to look at is black carpet. I feel like it'll probably match with kind of the look that this has created. Yeah, I'd say that looks fine. We probably want, like, spruce wood for the fences. Like, let's just, boom, make some quick spruce wood fences, and also toss some junk in here. This cobblestone-specific chest, and another random junk can go in here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, inventory space. That's not how I want to do that, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at this. See if the spruce fence makes it look nicer. Yeah, I think that helps. I think it would be cool if we could, like that new blue wood that they added in the snapshot, it'd be pretty cool to have that, but for the moment, no blue wool for us yet. Okay then. So, I honestly don't know what else I want to do with this room yet. Like, a bookshelf in either corner would be nice, but that's not going to happen quite yet, so, you know. Looks fine how it is for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Curiosity. Yeah, that goes like that. There we go. Torches were all wrong. And I put a torch there just to add some extra light in this corner because losing that corner torch hurts. Mm. Okay, there we go. Now, while we're while I'm thinking about it, let's run over here and just start to kind of dig out this area a bit for future staircase nonsense. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, I need some more dirt. That's just gonna move down there. I'll be able to get some from digging out this, but then I'm just going to need more to fill it in. Oh, snap. I didn't bring the oak wood all the way up. Ah! I don't even have an axe on me. Okay, let's go see if I got any spare oak in here. I only got that. Okay, let's just grab an axe and go chop down a tree real quick. So my thought for this forest area is I kind of want a path heading down through here. Probably leading to a bridge that will head over there and lead kind of to the village. So I want to leave this middle area kind of open. But I still like having kind of that forest to other side kind of feel. So I'm at least going to leave some degree of stuff here. And some, and probably those two trees specifically over there. At least that's the plan for the moment. 
Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, probably something like that for the dirt for the moment. Mostly because I don't know what exactly I want to do for this. But yeah, that's got to come all the way up now. Boom, boom. Let's come up here. Yeah, that looks fine for the moment. We're probably going to, you know, do my classic fence, fence, fence. Torch, torch. Well, like, torch there, torch there. But I think we're going to end up putting, like, well, let's just do some of this now, since, you know, we can run slightly longer. Uh, let's make that wood. Bam, bam, bam. With the spruce logs. Yeah, I also feel as though we need to cut this back just a smidge. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta pillar up for that. There we go. I just kind of cut this back. We'll replace this with dirt at this level. Just so then that way we got, you know, a bit more of a risen up feel. There we go. It looks kind of like I cut back. Well, no, it looks exactly like I cut back into the mountain for this. But let's quickly do this on the other side too. I'm going to need a bit more spruce wood. Boom. Uh, let's just create this. Okay. To the sides how it's looking. Uh, boom. And boom. And then we replace that with oak. Bring fences down. And then over here, we come over with this. I want to take some of this coal. Boom. Just some extra coal for the road. Yeah, dig back this. Okay, and then bam, bam. Over here, I feel as though we can kind of cut this back. Give that a bit more of a mound feel right there. And we probably just want to replace these two blocks with dirt. Yeah, this area is, I feel like once the grass grows, it'll look a little better. I feel like it doesn't look as nice on the other side of these, but like when you're kind of there with it, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I feel like this is still lacking something because when you look at it straight on also, it's not quite as nice. Huh. From here, it looks fine. Wandering trader. Do you have anything useful? Of course you don't. You know, if you were willing to make the reverse of those trades, I'd actually be super happy with you. Hey. Invisibility. Why? Okay, I'm going to go sleep. Just because night's coming. That's actually probably why he's drinking invisibility. He definitely wasn't suspicious that I was going to take him out for his leads. No, not at all. Not in the slightest. Yeah, I need to come up with something else for this. these stairs. I'm not going to bother yet because they have something now, but... Hey, there we go. I got my leads. Hey, you guys chill out. I just need the leads. Bum, bum, bum. They're going to be angry for a second. But they deal legitimately no damage. Okay. Well, anyway, guys. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.